I have to say it, if you've got a Steam Deck, this is an absolute must buy. This is the grip case for Steam Deck by Skull & Co. Now I've checked out so many different Skull & Co products for the Nintendo Switch and they are always fantastic. I don't think there's a single one that has been rubbish. And well, this is no exception. This might actually be my favorite product by them. And it also happens to be one of the cheapest. So yeah, as you can guess, this is just a grip case for the Steam Deck, but it is so much more than that. And I'm gonna tell you why in a second. We have the Coy Coyote, Coy Coyote, Coyote, I don't know how you say that. Whatever that is, gray, which is not black because I'm sick of everything being black for the Steam Deck. So I wanted to get a weird off colored green one, <laughs> which is what this is, right? So it's got textured grip. It's got a 75 degree stand design and easy fit and that's pretty much it so in the box you get this you get a steam deck made out of cardboard and you get the grip so let's just throw that on the floor take our fake uh, steam deck out we don't need that do we and this is what we're left with and now i always love skull and Cole for like doing stuff like this because they always add like little cool patterns and stuff that you never get to see like on their dock and stuff like that is on the back or whatever you know there's like little things that you're not always gonna see, but it's just the little details that are nice. Like they didn't have to do that. Like you're never gonna see that once it's attached, but they did do it. And I really like that because it's the little details that count, right? It's the small things that count. And I really, really enjoy the fact that they kept their like little shenanigans going with this grip case. And yeah, you can see the case color is like a bit of a strange one. It's like a, a, a weird off khaki greeny gray. Now it depends how you're gonna see this, but to me it's more of like a greeny color, even though they call it coyote gray or whatever. But they do it in black as well. So if you do just want boring black, then you can have that. Now you can see it is bendable like this. It's actually a really nice material. And we've got like grips on the side just here. So it's like molded. The whole thing is like one big unit, right? But we've got some hand grips on the side here. We've got cutouts for the fans, for your valve logo, for the back buttons as well, and for the trim which I absolutely love because I hate cases that like go over the triggers like I don't understand that it just makes it feel mushy and horrible but they haven't done it with this they've got cutouts which feel beautiful you've got a cutout on the top as well for you know the USB-C as well as your vent and the other port just on the top there but we do have like button covers for the power button and the up and down volume buttons but that is absolutely fine you know but anyway let's get our Steam Deck so I've got my Steam Deck just here and yeah okay mine doesn't look black and normal but there we go you can see what I've done to this <laughs> on the channel if you want to see about the skin and changing the back and changing all sorts of stuff we've changed the drive and the sticks as well but anyway all you need to do is kind of put the front in first so you you pop those two bits down you push down and then you just pull it over the top like that bam done that's it as easy as that there's no forcing it there's nothing it just slips in there perfectly and then once it's in there it's amazing because you've got really good like extra ergonomics here because it gives you that extra like depth on here and this like grippy material feels oh it just feels so good it really really does but my favorite thing is this the fact that it has got a molded 75 degree stand on it so that you can literally just put your steam deck down and you and you're done because I'm sick to death of like not having a stand on the thing and I had to go and buy like a little plastic mold just so that I could put the Steam Deck on the side. Like, yes, I've got docks, but I just wanted like a non-dock just on the side near my desk where I can just put it down and have it there. Do you know what I mean? I don't need that anymore because this does it. You could be playing like, oh, I, I just need to go to the loo or whatever. Okay, done. You know, and that is sturdy. That, that is not going to like just fall over. It is the perfect design. Like it just, it just goes down perfectly. Like I've been not babying this if that makes sense like i've just been like oh cool i'm just going to put it down and not like worrying about oh is it going to fall over or not because they really have thought about this design and it is brilliant because it's got a really big flat wedge 
along here and you've still got nice easy access to your SD card there. It's all like angled to it so you can get to it rather than it being like just a perfect fit where you can't like get your finger in to get it. So whether you've got nails or not, you'll still be able to actually get to that SD card slot, which is actually really cool. But yeah, the whole thing's good. The buttons feel nice and you know, it doesn't really change the feel of them. You can access the triggers and the bumpers as if there was no case on it at all. And the same goes with the back buttons as well. You know, the back buttons are easily accessible. The triggers are easily accessible. And yeah, mine looks really random with it being like purple and weird greeny gray and like white and whatever. <laughs> but I think it looks really nice. It feels really nice. And there's another feature that I haven't even told you about yet, which, you know, just, it, it just made it the best for me. It really did. Mainly that stand, the built-in stand is my favorite, but this is my second favorite. And that is that it fits into the official case. So you can just put this in, zip it up, no resistance, done. You can use your official case. Other ones don't, and that frustrates me. They need their own case. And I'm like, I don't need another case. I don't want to use your own proprietary case just because your grip is too big or whatever. I want to use the official one and this one lets you do that. So you can leave it on, leave it in. You know, you don't need to remove your Steam Deck. You can just leave this on at all times. And there we have it, like done. It's great. And yes, I know I've not really been talking about this, but I do have the Steam Deck grip sticks on this from Skull & Co as well. Uh, they sent these to me ages ago and they are brilliant. Like I've, I've kept them on this ever since I pretty much got the Steam Deck or whenever they launched these like grips. And I'm a big fan of these. There's not a single grip case on the market today that I can recommend over this. And the best part is it's really cheap. It's $17.99 and you can save 10% as well using our discount code down in the link to, in the description. But for like $18, that's like what? Probably 15 pounds here in the UK. That's really good. 15 quid, $17, $18 or less if you use our code to get a really well machined, like, well, like made product that is functional. And that's my main thing. It's functional. It feels great. Like the material is really good. It is functional. It's got built in stand. It works with your official Steam Deck case as well. I mean, there's not really much else you would want or need from a grip case. You know, like there's there's just not. And I'm really, really digging it. And again, you can get their, uh, their stick grips as well, but obviously you're going to lose the uh, capacitive touch sensitivity while doing that but you know it is something that they offer and i love these they're super super grippy now i do need to say there is another grip case coming soon and i will be getting it to test and show you and i'm really excited by that as well and that is from satisfy from america well they are actually making a steam deck grip case but it won't work with the official switch case because it is larger because they're trying to increase the ergonomics so it's actually like splayed out. You can go see it on their website right now. That's coming soon and I really hope that I get a sample to show you all you guys soon as well. But for now, until that comes out, because I've no idea whether that's good or not, I've no idea, I've not tried it yet. But for now, this is hands down my favorite grip case and I've just left this on for ages. They sent this to me like two, three weeks ago now and I've just been using it nonstop and I, actually forgot that I needed to do a video because I've just been using it so much. I was like, yeah, it's like this is just life now with the Steam Deck. I can just put it down and stuff. And then I went, oh yeah, I need to make a video on this. So that's how this came about, right? So yeah, if you're looking for a grip case, which is just, there's, there's no faults. There's nothing that I can say about this that there is anything to fault it by. There's just not like, you know, so yeah, if you're looking for a grip case, get this one. Just do it. So that's my look at the grip case by Skull & Co for the Steam Deck. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Whilst you're here, go check out mine and AJ's podcast up here where we talk about all things gaming and check out another video from me down here. And whilst you're there, go down, subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment, do whatever you want to do, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.